Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an amazing day today. It's almost Friday. <laughs> I was really excited for the weekend until I realized that I'll be driving Lyft a lot. So I won't get a day off for a while, but that's okay. So anyway, today's video is going to be my April favorites. Uh, so I haven't done one of these yet. So like I literally like grabbed everything. So I have a lot of products and stuff. So I will go ahead and get into it if I can get comfortable. Um, so I decided to wear really bright lipstick since my eyes are pretty dull today. My eyes are hurting again today. Dang allergies. But anyways, so uh, if you would go ahead and subscribe, that would be awesome. I feel like I'm so close to 100 subscribers. Like it just makes me so excited. I know some people have like a million, but <laughs> I'm excited for a hundred. I'm excited for what I have, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into it since I have so much stuff. Where should I start? Okay. So this isn't going to be just makeup, just saying. So first thing I have here is a candle from Bath and Body Works. Right now, well, this is my second candle. I burned through the whole one last month. <laughs> Like, I had it lit all the time in my bedroom, and it is Rainforest Gardenia. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Can you guys smell? <laughs> I love Bath & Body Works candles, especially when they go on sale. That's the best thing. So that's my favorite candle of the month. My favorite Amazon product for the month, and I can't believe I'm showing you guys this without cleaning it, but whatever. So this right here is from Amazon. And I don't know if you guys take a lot of baths. I take a lot of baths, a lot. And I do not like the little drain thingies underneath. What are those called? Like the, what are they called? Like they let the water out. Well, I don't want my water just to be like this much full. So I like to put it above that little circle thing in there. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so this here actually suction cups over that and it has a hole right here and I put that on top and I put it way up so then my water doesn't drain out. Like how frustrating is it? I'm in the bath for not very long and then I have half the water that I did. So yeah, you can tell I use it a lot. <laughs> so that's my favorite Amazon product of the month. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have been loving this body wash. Love this body wash. Um, it's Nivea Moisturizing Body Wash Care and Happiness Bamboo Extracts and Orange Blossom Scent. This, I'm just about gone, or just about out of this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, you know how they say like orangey type scents are supposed to like make you happy? It says happiness. So I seriously feel like it does because I smell it and it makes me happy. I use it to shave my legs too. So this is my favorite body wash the month um let's see my favorite dry shampoo you will, guys will notice that like hardly any of my stuff has a lid if it's a bottle or something like that or a makeup product it'll never have a lid I mean it'll be closed but it won't have a lid so just know that so this is my favorite dry shampoo right now it doesn't turn my hair white <laughs> um this is the Monai coconut by it's Hask and it's long lasting oil absorption free of sulfates and parabens it smells really good it works really good and it's just about gone so um yeah i love this stuff okay what's next let's do doo, doo, doo. okay so this next these next two products um again they're just like right out of my shower but they are a body scrub and bath salts so these fragrances are chocolate covered cherry. So good. And you can tell I use it all the time. And it literally smells like chocolate covered cherry. And I'll show you. Oh my gosh, you guys. So these are made by a girl that I know in the city that I live in. And she is just awesome. I'm going to be getting some more product from her today or tomorrow. I probably have, I don't know. 
15 different of each of these. She does bath bombs and um, all sorts of stuff. I'll show you another product here. This is um, a lip scrub. <laughs> and this lip scrub, you can use it on your body, but it's bubble gum. Love, love this lip scrub. And it leaves your lips really, really silky smooth after you use it too, because it's got, I think it's got coconut oil in it. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but she uses like basically all natural ingredients. And so yeah, she, ha she comes out with all these new scents all the time. And I also have like a jojoba one that's super moisturizing. Like once you put this on your legs or wherever you put it on and you rinse it off, your legs feel soft for the longest time. Like I remember the first time I used this probably like a year ago and I was like, this is insane how soft my legs are. Like you can feel once you rinse it off, they're just so super soft. So this stuff is amazing. Um, it's Her website is Sugar Scrub World and I'll post that um, down below. She does ship. Um, if you live in my city, she'll deliver to you. Um, she does fun stuff around holidays too, like candy and ugh, extra things like that. So, and she's like the biggest sweetheart. So anyways, I was thinking um, at some point of doing a giveaway of her stuff too, but that'll be maybe around 500 subscribers or something like that. So we'll do a big gift pack of her stuff, but I'm telling you guys, you will love it. The smells, I can't even get over. And then I get the essential oils too in them. So I have like a orange sandalwood one and I like to use that when I'm kind of feeling down. And then I have a um, one with lavender and I like to, you know, use that one anxiety and I don't know, I'm just a real smell person and just these are amazing. So that's Sugar Scrub World and as you can see, I'm almost gone. <laughs> it's almost gone. Okay, um, so let's go into this next product. Of course, again, it doesn't have a lid. Um, okay, so I got this from Ulta. It is called Mega Babe Bust Dust Anti-Boob Sweat Spray. 100% <laughs> natural, no talc, and no parabens. So without making a huge mess, I'll show you guys, kind of. So what, okay, so if you have a large chest like I do, and even if you don't, I mean, do girls with small chest, you get boob sweat? I don't know. But so anyways, you spray it, woo, and it comes out like that. So you just kind of go under and under and just spray it. And I love this stuff. <laughs> so it says sweating through your top is never chic. Keep boob sweat at bay with this all-natural talc-free powder made with bacteria-fighting, lavender, and soothing chamomile. Shake well and spray under, between, and around cleavage for a dry, smooth finish. So, um, it's tested on mega babes, never on animals. So, love this stuff. Um, bust dust. <laughs> it's a must for summer. Bust dust is a must. <laughs> okay, so, um, for my hands... Um, and I left the other part to this downstairs, but I love using the Mary Kay. I don't sell Mary Kay. Actually, I have a friend that sells Mary Kay. Um, but I use the Mary Kay Satin Hands and you get, um, an exfoliating part to it. And then this is the hand softener and it's fragrance free. Um, and sometimes I use just this alone. But like once a week I do the exfoliating on my hands because I feel like your hands get old quickly. Not quickly, but they age. They seem to age. And so I love this stuff. I use it all year long. Sometimes I use also like to use it on my feet. So um, I can leave my friend, I don't know, I'll have to check and see if she has a website, but I'll leave her information down below if you guys are interested. I don't sell it, but I love this stuff. And the satin lips. I need to get some more from her actually. <laughs> um, okay, so my favorite lotion is one that we got in the FabFitFun spring box. It's a Levito, Levito. It's the Mandarin Orange and Bergamot um, Aromatic Body Lotion. I will 100% be buying this again. When you put it on, like, I can still smell it, and I can still smell it the next morning if I don't shower that night and shower the next morning. I can still smell it. Like, it is that long-lasting. It smells amazing. 
the, when you smell it, it doesn't, I don't know, it's maybe not super pleasant to everybody, but once you put it on and after it like calms down for a second, it is the best smell ever. And I like to mix it with um, Amazing Grace, the Philosophy Amazing Grace. I don't know what it is, but those two just work so well together. I also like to mix it with, no lid, the Live Joyously um, Philosophy one. This one is a little bit different, but you put those two together and they still smell good. And even <laughs> this um, In the Stars has been my favorite for a long time. Definitely still my uh, April favorite. I use this all the time. I'm just about out. So those are my three like lotion smells favorites for the month of April. And like I said, I'll 100% be ordering this again. Okay, next we're going to, I'm not going to do all my hair products, but I'm going to do this. Um, is This is the way, is that how you say it? Um, it's the leave-in conditioner. And I got this in my FabFitFun box. And look how much I've used. <laughs> I love it. The smell, I cannot get over the smell. Like my hair will smell like it the whole next day. And I just love this stuff. So this is another thing that I will definitely be repurchasing. Um, okay, so getting into some makeup. Um, oh, I'm uncomfortable today. Okay, so first thing, um, I am out of my big bottle of this. This is something I've used forever, so it's pro it would probably be a favorite of mine all the time. But it's the Garnier um, Skin Active Clearly Brighter Sunscreen. So it's brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer. It has vitamin C plus LHA. It's oil-free. So this is just the smaller size, the bigger size I'm out of. So uh, I've used other sunscreens before, and I don't like the way that they're so thick on the face. This, or the way they smell. This smells good, and it also does not feel thick. It just is like, a, it's just a moisturizer. So I, I put this on, I try to put this on every single day in the morning. Um, it's just kind of one of my staples. So definitely an April favorites. Um, so as far as we'll go, keep going with skincare here for a second. Um, I've showed this before when I did like my nighttime routine, but this is definitely a favorite of mine that I will be repurchasing. Um, the Aveeno Active Naturals Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial. So it looks like this. You can see <laughs> about out. Um, this smells really good and it's not really, uh, it's not abrasive on your skin. It's a really nice one. So I just kind of try and count to 60 and just kind of do 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 in the shower, you know, kind of rubbing it in. Um, so love this stuff. Definitely be re repurchasing this as well. And I have some of this coming, <laughs> um, that I ordered, but this is the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm. And this is what I use to remove my makeup. You can see I'm down to the bare, barely any. Um, so basically what you do is you just rub it in your palms and it gets, um, it gets heated and then just rub it all over your face. Like it doesn't make my eyes hurt. Um, it's just very, I don't know. It, I just really like it. And it, you know, I kind of rub it onto my lashes too, to get my mascara off and it works really, really well. So this is what I use to take my makeup off. I don't have a, I guess I do have a couple more skincare things. Um, Something that I use morning and night is the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. So as you can see, you can see how much I have left. <laughs> so I use it twice a day. Love this stuff. So after cleansing, apply two pumps over entire face and neck. Use morning and night. Sometimes I use it on the back of my hands too when I remember. But it's just supposed to empower, replenish, renew, and fortify. So great stuff. Definitely got to repurchase. And the other skincare problem, problem, the problem I'm thinking is, of course, I have no lids. I wonder where they all go. You know, I probably have like a pile of them somewhere. Anyways, this is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinal Fusion PM Eye Cream. And I'm almost out of this as well. I just put it under the eyes. I like to rub, maybe rub a little bit, but then tap, tap it in. Keep the youthful looking eyes. Uh, so I really like this stuff. And you can get this like at Ulta. 
Uh, next, my um, go-to or favorite, especially it'll be favorite going into summer foundation with no lid is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. It's weightless, ultra definition liquid makeup, peptide infused, and you're supposed to shake it, but I love the smell of it. And my color is shade 1.0, so, <laughs> but I like to get... Well, in the summer, I do get a little bit tan, even though I use sunscreen, but this still will work if I put some bronzer on. A lot of times I'll use a, a powder foundation as well. So, uh, and that's the, is it the adjustable coverage Ulta foundation? I have that over there. So sorry about that. Okay. So, and you guys have probably seen this before. Um, this is the primer that I like, which I've used in my videos, the No Problem Primer. Um, as you can tell, I use it a lot. And this is what the front looks like. We got this in a box. Was it like in BoxyCharm? I can't even remember. But, um, it's smooth and pore covering. I don't know. I just really love this stuff. It doesn't feel silicone-y. It's just, but it feels kind of thick, but then it dries. It just, I don't know. It feels really good. Uh, next, let's go with powder since we're talking about foundation and primer. The powder that I've been using quite a bit is the Kat Von D Setting Powder Translucent, the Lock It Powder. So it looks like that. I do have quite a few powders, but this is the one that I tend to reach for, especially to help with the creasing. And then I'll use it on my chin when I have uh, a breakout and it helps to keep things kind of set in place so that the foundation stays on. Um, of course, Tarte Shape Tape is going to be my favorite primer, definitely for the month of April, and I am in the color light. And my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer potion, or primer is the Primer Potion Eden Urban Decay. You guys have heard me talk about this before. I don't know if anything can top this for me. I have done CrossFit with this on, and my eye makeup does not crease. Just saying. Okay, so um, my favorite uh, mascara right now is the It Cosmetics Superhero. I haven't had this for a long time, so definitely something that I used quite a bit um, in April. And it does clump just a little bit, but it has the thick wand, and I like those. I don't like just the one with the little rubbery nubs. Um, so yeah, It Cosmetics. <laughs> And I've been getting into self-tanner for my legs. My arms tan really well, even with sunscreen, uh, but my legs don't. So what I use is this Malibu Tan Hemp Golden Glow Skin Firming Bronzing Moisturizer. So it's got a golden glow and it shows you like day one, day two, day seven, something like that. Um, I get this at Walmart. It's pretty in inexpensive too. Um, and so it's got CoQ10 to moisturize, firm, and reduce wrinkles while subtly, subtly enhancing skin with a healthy glow. So I really like this stuff. My sister actually told me about it. So it's good stuff. Now we'll go on to my favorite palette for April. It's not something that's new, but it's Soft Glam. And I, I have used this in a video before. As you can tell, I used the crap out of this one. I just think that the colors are super flattering and like one of my favorite colors is Dusty Rose. I need to get some new palettes. Palettes. I haven't gotten a new, well, I got the Wet n Wild one if you watched another video of mine, but I haven't gotten any new like high-end palettes in quite a while. There's one that I'm looking at by Makeup Forever, so I'll show you guys that when I get it. Uh, there's just a lot of colors in it. Um, my favorite dollar store product for the month of April is this right here. Uh, this is you um, put nail polish remover in here and you take your little sponge or whatever you're taking it off with and you just press down kind of like at the professional salons so love this only a buck and I thought it'd be fun to show I color a lot um, just for anxiety relief or relaxing and so this is my favorite coloring book I got this off Amazon and it's hashtag mom life a snarky adult coloring book and you can see some of the, the pages. <laughs> um, I color my favorite parts of it. I like coloring letters or stuff like that. So I have probably 15 coloring books. 
And I was thinking, um, I was going to talk about my anxiety um, because a lot of people suffer from it. And then I was thinking about giving away a couple coloring books and some colored pencils. So what do you guys think of that? Would you like that? Okay, so my favorite crayon, crayons, markers to color with are also from Amazon. They are 36 dual tip brush pens and they're markers. So I'll show you what they look like. So they're dual tipped. So if you color, these are awesome. So this one is almost like a, like a paintbrush in a way. And then the other side is more of a pen. So then you can do the little tiny spots. So, okay, so that is all that I have for products to show you. But I thought that I would share my favorite audiobook. Do you guys do audiobooks? Like I listen to, or I have a subscription to Amazon Audible. And so I get books every month. Um, my favorite one for April is The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. You guys, oh, such a good book. And when I drive Lyft, I like to listen to books. Um, books on books on tape. If you're old like me, you would maybe know that. But no, it's um, audio books <laughs> on my phone. And so when I'm driving around, I don't have someone with me. I like to listen to those. And then I was going to let you know my favorite podcast that I just finished up a day or two ago. And I listened to in the month of April. Definitely my favorite is called Cold. And it is on, I don't know what other platforms it's on, but it's on iP or iTunes. Uh, I have so many pod podcasts download, downloaded. Oh, this is getting to be a long video. So yeah, if you guys have not listened to that, if you like real or true crime or real crime, is it true crime podcasts or movies or any of that kind of stuff, that one is so good. And let me just tell you, if you have not listened to Serial, S-E-R-I-A-L, great. Oh, such a good podcast. Such a good podcast. So just giving you a podcast recommendation. I have I have tons of them. So anyways, um, I think that was everything. Uh, was there anything that I was missing? I was just kind of going through everything and I was like, oh, you know, um, trying to see what my favorites are and looking around. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't really have any favorite TV shows at the moment. I mean, I guess Grey's Anatomy and New Amsterdam, of course, but... Anyways, so that's all I have for you guys. Um, we're going to do the My Son Does My Makeup video this weekend. It's just been too busy these evenings um, to get that done. And so we're going to do that. And if you would subscribe, that would be amazing. Uh, I do have an active giveaway going on, so you want to check out the most recent giveaway video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And yeah, I think that's about all. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know uh, in the comments, do you like to see all this type of stuff or do you just want to see makeup? Or do you like seeing lifestyle type stuff too or like products from Amazon? Uh, so just let me know in the comments what you think and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!